up here on the screen, we see um, what essentially gives you what CFM based off of what you're running. So if we look at the hose end, we see with no depressor, um, we see the connection size at the actual refrigeration hose. It looks like we have a quarter inch flare with no internal threads. Um, we have a feed per minute of 58 and our total CFM is uh, 2.48. Now if you look uh, as we go further on down, it looks like we're adding more restrictions. So the next one down is with the depressor actually in there. So this is actually what we did. We went from having no, de no depressor in there, two Schrader core pullers, you know, pulling full throttle and seeing how long it would take to get down to three or 400 microns with that, with that setup. And then basically also measure the same things. But in this instance, this time around, we're going to add more restrictions. Now, if you look at this section down here, we have no depressor with a quarter inch flare with Schrader core, which you're pulling zero feet per minute, which means you're pulling zero CFM. And the next step was without the depressor, you basically use a Schrader in there with nothing controlling whatsoever the, you know, the opening and shutting force. And as you can see at the very bottom, low loss fitting with a quarter inch flare with the Schrader core in has the capability of pulling 0.1 CFM. On this last section, it's a low loss fitting with a quarter inch flare with the Schrader core. It's able to do upwards of 0.1 feet per minute. And obviously that's not gonna pull anything anyway, so we're back down to zero CFM. So right now we're at atmosphere. So I'm going to start the vacuum and we'll go from there. So currently we have the JobLink app set up. It is actually connected to the FieldPiece app that's on my phone. And so we should actually start seeing a micron gauge start to reduce in level. As you can see, we just started this probably about two or three minutes ago, and we're still at atmospheric. Alright, so about five minutes. We got down to about 738 microns. As you can see, all we have to do is just isolate the micron gauge to the system. Just to make sure while we're pulling a vacuum, we're not going to be pulling in any kinds of non condensables. On our particular system that we pulled after pulling all the Schrader fittings, so we went through and pulled another vacuum on the system without everything attached and it has in fact reduced the evacuation time by nearly double. Hey guys, I appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you on the next one. Be safe out there.